Showing up in court, especially when you've survived abuse, can be extremely difficult. It can be extremely triggering. Today, that's something that I went through at a hearing. So being put into the same space as someone who is extremely abusive, violent, aggressive, emotionally and physically towards me, what am I going to do? How am I going to react? Obviously, my body reacted. And the way that your body reacts most commonly is increased heart rate, it's increased breath rate, it's not being able to think and focus clearly. And therefore, when you have your cortex that's offline and Broca's area, which is the speech area of your brain that's offline, and your brain stem and your heart rate is going all over the place, how are you supposed to stay calm and give responses that make sense? Being triggered in the courtroom or in a legal proceeding is not good. It's, it's not good at all. So how do we go ahead and help our brainstem, our heart rate and our breath rate and our body calm down so that our cortex and the rational thinking parts of our brain can come back online? The first way that we can do that is by noticing our breath. So you can even put your hand on your chest and notice your breath, notice your breathing. With the other hand, you can even support whether it's tightness in your neck that you're feeling or tightness in your chest, or whether it's simply putting your hand on your shoulder to support. So we have one hand feeling our breath and one hand showing support to a different body part. So maybe that's showing support to the neck, showing support to the head, showing support to the arm, however you want to use your hand to show support. So doing this is one way to help ground yourself and also telling yourself a message. So what messages can we tell ourselves when we're triggered? We can say, it's okay to feel triggered. It's okay to feel a high heart rate. It's okay to feel an increased breath rate. It's okay to not feel okay. I will support myself with my hands for as long as I need to. I can be there for myself. I am my own best friend and I'm an awesome best friend. So that's one way when we're in a legal proceeding and there's a lot of anxiety that comes with that, that we can support ourselves. So it's noticing our breath. It's making sure that as much as we can to keep our breath rate even and using our other hand to support as a healing hand and as a self-parenting technique to show support for ourselves and say, it's okay to feel triggered and it will pass and I will be here with you through it. I hope that that simple little trick and that small little technique helps you if you are going through some stressful legal proceedings. I'm wishing you a beautiful day. Thanks for joining me today.